A new FDA clinical trial is underway for patients with cornea problems caused by LASIK eye surgery or by a disease called keratoconus. In both cases, the cornea bulges, making it difficult to correct vision. It sometimes leads to cornea transplants. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports. It's been three months since Wayne Strobel underwent an experimental procedure to try to strengthen and at the same time flatten his bulging cornea, a condition caused by a progressive eye disease called keratoconus. So far, so good. Just actually this morning was my, th my three-month checkup, and the curvature has gone down 25%. The use of riboflavin, or B2 drops, plus UV light, are being studied in an FDA clinical trial to evaluate the safety and effectiveness of a treatment that's called corneal collagen cross-linking, or CXL. Think of the cornea as being 250 pancakes of collagen tissue. With collagen cross-linking, we're trying to link those pancakes together in order to strengthen the cornea to deter the progression of keratoconus disease progression can lead to a cornea transplant. Teaneck eye surgeon Peter Hirsch says keratoconus can also occur following LASIK eye surgery. Because we're thinning the cornea to some extent, it may exacerbate a problem in a patient who has a potential for keratoconus or in fact potentially could cause a keratoconic-like picture in some people. Dr. Hirsch is one of 10 physicians in the nation who are participating in the CXL clinical trial. Doctors are hopeful that knitting the layers of the cornea together like this will flatten out the coning effect of the eye, allowing the patient's eye to accept a contact lens and therefore improve vision. Wayne Strobel says it's already helping. H, V, Z, Dr. Hirsch has treated 25 patients with CXL since the study started in February. He plans to enroll a total of 80 over the next few months. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Teaneck.